Welcome to AQS Quilt Week. We can't wait to have you join us here at the Schrader Expo Center and the Carroll Convention Center. And Alan and I are going to take a little ride. We're going to drive you over to the pavilion so you know how easy it is to get there. There are lots of vendors and some beautiful quilts over in the pavilion. And one of those buses will take you over to the Paducah School of Art and Design. And in that uh, building, you will find the Taiwan Art Quilt Society quilts. So we hope you'll go all the way around and see all of the quilts, more than 600 quilts on exhibit at this year's show. So let's hop in the car and we'll take you for a little ride. Okay, so the bus stop is right here by this last tree here in front of the Expo Center. And the bus is just gonna go right straight through the parking lot. And of course, this will all be filled with cars. Uh, but there will be room for the buses to get through. And we're going to go out the back end of the convention center lot. When we get down here to the stop sign, the buses will turn left and stop right in front of the pavilion. And so they'll stop right here in front of the, this is the main entrance to the pavilion. And there also is a handicapped entrance on this side of the building. On the back side of this pavilion are public restrooms. And you can go, you can get to them from outside, but you also can walk through the pavilion and be able to use the restrooms. So now one of those buses will continue right straight on uh, through this stop sign here to get to the Paducah School of Art. And if you were driving this yourself, you're going to cross over two stop signs and the next street will be Harrison Street and that's the street where the Paducah School of Art is located. Well, these are all four-way stops, so this is pretty easy to drive if you were driving over here by yourself. And we'll go through three stop signs, and the next corner will be the Paducah School of Art and Design. So it's this great big building, this big, big brick building, and on the far right corner of the building is the Kitchen's Cafe, which is open for lunch every day but Saturday. And they have a little courtyard there where you can eat. Um, but I would certainly encourage you to come and make sure that you come see the exhibit here. This is the main entrance. And we will have a banner right here on that rail that says AQS Quilt Week, special exhibit inside, so that you'll know that you're at the right spot to be able to go in. And you just go into those doors and the gallery is right on your right hand side as you go through, after you go through those doors. Okay, so Alan and I are now on Interstate 24 and we're gonna go down here and we're gonna get off on exit four, Highway 60, to the left is the main artery to take you right down into downtown Paducah. But before we do that, we're gonna get off at exit four and we're gonna take you to the park and ride so that if you wanna use that, and there'll be a shuttle bus that will start at seven o'clock in the morning from this end of town to bring people down to the quilt show. So we're gonna get off at exit four and we're going to be turning right. It's a stop sign, stoplight here. And so as you get off of the interstate, you're going to want to stay in the left-hand lane because there are two lanes that turn right here and we'll be turning we'll making a left turn next.
So at the very first corner here, there's a left-hand turn lane, and it's the J.C. Penney end of the Kentucky Oaks Mall. We're going to turn left here and go into the parking lot. So right here by this speed limit 50, 15 mile sign is where you're going to turn in, and it will be this section right here off to your right uh, that will be the free parking for the quilt show park and ride program. This, the, this particular bus also, when it comes to drop you off here, will go around to the back side of the mall and have a drop off here at the mall as well. So if you want to go shopping, you can jump on the shuttle that comes out here to the park and ride and you'll be able to be taken right to the door of the mall. So now we're going to head back downtown. And you'll want to get in the right hand lane so, or the left hand lane so that you can uh, get in the turn lane down here to be, go, be able to go downtown. If you're going downtown, sometimes it's better to stay in this right hand turn lane because the traffic sometimes gets bottled up down here at the bridge where people are trying to turn left to go into Illinois. So you can see now we're on a straight shot to go back downtown. We have lots of quilts for you to see at this year's show. More than 600 quilts will be on display. In addition to the contest quilts, which are more than 300, you're going to find on the first floor of the convention center, you're going to find four really special exhibits. That includes the uh, Journey of a Long Arm Pioneer, the quilts of Marilyn Badger, the Best of Quilt Con 2018, the Diamond Bourbon Quilts by M.J. Kinman, and Tula in Stitches Quilts by Tula Pink. So those are all on the first floor of the convention center. Then when you go to the second floor of the convention center, you will find vendors up there, as well as the wall quilts, and the best wall quilt will be displayed there, the World Fairy Tale Quilts, the um, New Faces, Fresh, Fresh Ideas, New Faces exhibit from the uh, Certified Appraisers Challenge, and the Sakwa exhibit called Passages. So there's plenty to see on the second floor. And of course, when you go to the Expo Center is where you're going to find uh, more vendors, lots of vendors. And you will find right up front to the right as you go in the door, you will find the best of show and five of the top winners. And of course, that other top winner will be the best wall quilt on the second floor. Plenty for everybody to see. So you want to make sure you get to the pavilion. We've already shown you how easy it will be to get there. You don't even have to move your car. You can jump on the shuttle. It takes about 15 minutes, probably maximum, to get over there. And over at the pavilion, you will find the log cabins of Donald Judd quilts by, by, quilts by Luke Haynes. The AQS iQuilt and Authors exhibit and of course you don't want to miss seeing all of the quilts in the Cherrywood Challenge, the Van Gogh Dutch Gallery. So you've got plenty of quilts to see, three different, four different locations to see them and uh, we're headed right downtown so that you know how easy it is to get from the interstate down to the convention center. Now as you approach downtown, some of you might be looking for a grocery store, Kroger store that'll be over here on our left, just past Chipwin Motors, if you need to have any of those kinds of uh, necessities from a pharmacy, or um, you wanna pick up some snacks to take to your hotel room. It'll be right here on your left. If you need a bottle of wine, Roof Brothers is right there as well. Right on our left right here is Noble Park. It has a nice little pond in there. Uh, if your spouse comes with you, my husband always used to go in there and wax the car, uh, get it washed and go in there and sit under a tree somewhere and wax the car. Uh, but you'll find it just a nice place to have a picnic too.
Now you see the highway divides here, and so you're going to stay here on the left. This now becomes a one-way street that takes you into downtown Paducah. Now right before you get to the railroad tracks, you'll see a sign that says Paducah School of Art and Design. If you were coming this way and wanted to go to the School of Art to see the special quilt exhibit, or if you're taking a class there, you would turn right onto 9th Street. And if you miss that turn, when you get to this stoplight, just past the railroad tracks, you can take a turn here and go over to Harrison Street, and then you'll be on the right street to uh, get to the Paducah School of Art and Design. But we're going to stay straight on this uh, Park Avenue. Uh, it's, right now it's named King um, Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard, or Martin U it's named Martin Luther King Drive. Uh, this street has three names as you come off of the interstate. It's Hinkleville Road, then it's Park Avenue, and then it's Martin Luther King, and it's all the same street. You don't have to turn anywhere to get on it. So now you're going to see as you get down here, you see a stoplight in front of us. That stoplight is right in front of the Holiday Inn Riverfront. But we're going to take a turn here and show you where the parking lots are that are close by. So we're going to stay on this until we get to Broadway Street, and it's going to be two stoplights. It will be the second stoplight after you come around that curve. Okay, this is the second stoplight, so we're going to turn left, and you'll see there's no right turn here. It's a one-way street. We're now on Broadway Street. So right here on our left is one of our city parking lots. It's a free parking lot. And we're just going to drive around the perimeter of it. But it also takes us, Broadway takes us to, oh gosh, and look, once in a while we have a riverboat that meets us right here at the foot of Broadway. A lot of the riverboats stop right here. Uh, but you can see the flood wall right here. Uh, that's our flood wall that protects us from the high water in the river. I would encourage you to come down here and read the panels. Each one of them has some significance related to the history of the city of Paducah. These are public restrooms right here. And uh, if you're going to be downtown, you'll want to know where those are because there, there aren't many public restrooms in the, in the businesses down here if you're not a customer. And you can see they have buses that take the people from the American Queen uh, to different uh, attractions here in Paducah while they're here. We're going to turn right onto Second Street, and here's another parking lot, and it's right behind the National Quilt Museum. So if you're going to drive down and go to the museum a separate day or at a separate time, um, I would encourage you to park into this parking lot right here. We continue down here to the stop sign on 2nd Street. I'm going to take a left right here because I want to show you where Walker Hall is located. In Walker Hall on Wednesday evening, we will be having our AQS Winter Showcase with Melinda Bula. And you won't want to miss the fun for that evening. If you haven't signed up, you need to do that. It's going to be a fun evening. And right here on our right, this gray building, is Walker Hall. There will be bus transportation that will bring you over here from the convention center both before and after the event. We have one of our buses that will run and it will go from here after the event is over 
it will take you to uh, the the it will take you to the park and ride out at Kentucky Oaks Mall and also to the participating hotels that are participating in the bus service. Now right here on your right, this will be full of cars during the quilt show and it's a paid parking space. As well as on the back side of the flood wall, if you go through the Harrison Street entrance into the flood wall, is another paid parking and these are both very close to the convention center you can see we already have our signs out to guide you so that you know exactly where you're going at the, now this is the stoplight that we saw from the other direction this is now the one that's on uh, on third street we're going to turn and go into the drive of the convention center Now you'll notice in our information that we have said there are our bus stops at two different places. This is the Carroll Convention Center and right here along this side of Carroll Convention Center is where the shuttle buses will stop, the trolley will stop, there will be a van that will take you to the Quilt Museum, to the National Quilt Museum, and this is where the shuttles go. The shuttle for the pavilion is over in front of the expo center and so the two um, the two main shuttles that are going to stop here is the hotel bus and this will make a continuous loop it starts at seven o'clock in the morning it'll start out out at Drury Inn then it'll go to the park and ride at Kentucky Oaks Mall Country Inn, Pear Tree Inn, Quality Inn, Drury Suites, Auburn Place, Holiday Inn Express, Courtyard by Marriott, and then it will come back downtown and stop right here to drop you off. And it will just compete, it will repeat that route all through the show. This runs from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. The other shuttle is the downtown and attractions route, and it will start at 9 a.m. and go till 6 p.m. And it starts here, it will go to Calico Country, so in Vac, Hancock's of Paducah. Then it will go through Lower Town, the artist relocation area, and it'll stop at the Texaco Station, Hotel Metropolitan. Then it'll go down Broadway from 3rd Street to Water Street, and then the National Quilt Museum, and then it will come back here to the Convention Center. And this will be page 129 in your show book. And we also have, one, page 128 will be the trolley route. And it has its own specific route that it, it goes all the time. And you'll find that on page 128. And so we're here where the shuttle buses would be stopping. And see, there's the trolley right there. And so this route will not be open right here to the left. That's our food court right here on the right. and. We will go up here around this grove of trees and take a right-hand turn. So if you're coming into the parking lot to park, this is the route that you will take. It also is the same route the tour buses will take. And they will turn right here at these trees so that they can pull up. And there will be food tents over here on our right. And they'll come right up here to where the tour buses can pull up as well as the shuttle buses that go to the uh, go to the pavilion and the school of art and so the Innova bus will leave from here and and go round trip from the expo center to the pavilion and back and that one bus the the Innova bus will that's all they'll do all day long and they start at nine o'clock and go until the show closes each day at six o'clock and four o'clock on Saturday. The second bus will be the one, it's the So so Many Creations, it's bus number two, and it will go to the pavilion and on to the Paducah School of Art and Design. And so that's the one you'll wanna catch if you wanna go look at the Bill Ford Gallery over at the School of Art so that you can see the Taiwan Art Quilt Society quilts. And, and then it will come back to the convention center and start all over. So it'll stop at the pavilion, go to the School of Art and Design, and come back. And it will repeat that all day long as well.